Good morning, everybody. It's another wet and dreary January morning here. I am out at one of two river parks that I'm going to visit this morning. Uh, the first one here, there's just a short trail that goes along the river. And then there's kind of a section that goes over towards a marsh. So I'm going to go check out the marsh now. And then the second trail I'm going to hit is a little bit farther down the Farmington River and it has a little bit more access to the river. So the water level's high. We had rain all night last night. So there's not much shoreline to uh, get very close to the water. There's a lot of erosion going on. But we'll see if there's any, uh, any activity. Right now there's a lot of woodpeckers, a lot of cardinals and sparrows. But we'll see what else we can find. A lot of the birds are staying low in the shrubs and they're not really coming out. Probably to stay out of the wet. There's a cardinal in here somewhere, but I can't seem to find him. I saw a flash of red, so it's a it's a bright male. Oh, there's a Carolina red. Hold on. There's quite a few Carolina wrens singing in here. I've heard at least three. And this one seems to be claiming that this is its territory. So that's nice. They have a nice, a nice song. Now I just need some other birds to come out. See if anything else decides to pop out now that the mist has stopped finally. And then I'm going to head over to the other park, which is usually a little bit more successful. So it's a larger area, but I've had 13 species here so far in just under an hour. So it's not too bad for a, a gloomy January morning. still hear that cardinal, but it's still in the bushes. It just doesn't want to come out. I was walking back over to the car and there's this big fallen tree that's kind of in the middle of a, a lawn area. It's a wet spot, but there's all of these dark-eyed juncos and bluebirds and sparrows and downies that perch on it before they fly everywhere else. So I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit and see if I can get some of these birds that are perching on these branches.
the flock of bluebirds and juncos seems to have moved back. They're kind of doing a big loop around the park. Uh, but I got a lot of good footage of them and I'll let them be. And I'm going to go over to my other park now. This is a bit more of a floodplain park. There's a trail that goes around, that goes over a nice bridge that has a nice little overlook to it. Uh, there's sometimes been kingfishers there, but it's very flooded. We've had a lot of rain the past couple, well, really the last week. Um, and this section actually just finally thawed out. So there's a lot of water, so I'm not too sure how much activity there's gonna be, but we'll check it out and see what happens. I'm at a little bit of a overlook point. Kind of juts out over towards the river and it's very shrubby and brushy. So there's a lot of white-throated sparrows and song sparrows and chickadees as well. So I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute and see what comes over this way. Really, usually anywhere around water is a good spot to find birds because it's usually where the shrubs that provide fruit and seeds usually grow the best. They usually like more water. Now, unfortunately here, a lot of the shrubs are invasives. That's also what happens around water. The water transfers the seeds from upstream. So if there's invasives upstream, there's gonna be invasives that wash downstream and end up seeding, especially in this area because it's such a big floodplain. When there's high water events, the water definitely rises and it can really make the invasive spread. But it's a really good spot for birds. The only problem is because it's so shrubby and dense, a lot of the birds, especially the sparrows, kind of hang out in the thicket and they don't really come out very well so it's kind of hard to get a good clear picture of them but there's a lot of them that are just perching around on the branches around me so i'm gonna make my way out of here and let them be and go down the trail a little bit ways itself and I also have a whole flock of white-throated sparrows to my right this is what happens when you just stand still for a little while
Well, that's gonna be it for me today. I found a really nice spot to sit. It was a spot that was kind of flooded. It's a low spot, so there's a lot of bird activity just right in that section. Um, but I could probably sit there all day, so I'm gonna head out. I have things to do. But uh, between these two parks, I saw 27 different species, which is pretty impressive. And that's not even including any waterfowl that there could or usually would be. I think that the, uh, the high water mark may have changed where they're hanging out for the time being. But, oh, there's a deer over to my left. Um, That'll be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you again next time.